Hello, Linda's hello. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> listen, Linda's listen. Today's video is another level. Of what the hell am I watching? You walk in confused, you leave confused. You're like, how did that happen? But that's that's the beauty of this video. You never know what to expect. We'll be making sharp turns, hitting walls, banging tables, out of frustration. It's a journey. It's a beautiful journey, and we're gonna go through it together. So we start off uh, absolute, absolute trash. trash, absolute crap. I'm pushed back down. My back is arching, and there was nothing I could do about it. There was nothing the makeup artist could do about it. It's just that the chair was not meant to bend like that. <laughs> we start off by color correcting. It looks like I've been bruised, but that doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter that she used half the container it doesn't matter that she brought the nastiest beauty blender on the planet it was literally shoved between a hair dryer and like some other hair brushes so it still had hair on it and it just smelled humid it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because i walked into that place thinking it's the best reviewed so my expectations were super high And you know, at this point, like, I was thinking it, you're thinking it, we're all thinking it. Ew. Just ew. Now we look dirty. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why? But sit back down, Linda, sit back down, because this makeup artist is about to stun you. She's about to shock you. And that's when it turns a complete 180 degrees. Because Linda's, we transform from looking like that to looking like this. Wow. I don't know how. I don't know what happened, but it's crazy. Whoa, that was a little too loud. Let me fix that. Oh my God, what? What's happening? This is really intimate. You're behind the scenes right now. Voice over Judy needs some control. And we control her by using a feature called audio ducking. Audio ducking helps keep the quality of the sound the same throughout your video. Voice over Judy's hella moody. And that causes differences in the audio quality and we don't want that. So obviously it's a feature I always use. And this feature is included in Wondershare Filmora 10 today's sponsor. Wondershare from Mora 10 is a popular video editing software for beginners, so don't worry about feeling intimidated once you start working with it. It's actually very easy to use, but it's also perfect for experienced video editors because it's full of these amazing features. So you have motion tracking, keyframing, color matching, and obviously my favorite, audio ducking. You could also test it out completely for free. And on top of that, Wondershare from Mora 10 has everything from royalty-free music, video transitions, filters, video effects, you know, and does I love those. <laughs> so now is the perfect time to become like the Grandmaster Editor herself, Judy D, by downloading Wondershare from Mora 10 for free today. And you can start editing your first video. And I'm not done, Linda's. It gets better. You have a chance to win a one-year license for free if you reply to my pinned comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to edit with my hashtag. But now that the audio is fixed, it's time to get back to our makeup artist because she's about to shock us, Linda's. And I guess that's where this makeup artist truly deserves to be called a best reviewed makeup artist not only that but i think it's a good time to mention right now that this was seven dollars linda's this was seven dollars obviously at the time i didn't know it was gonna cost that but now knowing the price and knowing the result as well it's insane it's insane it's safe to say this is probably the cheapest best reviewed makeup artist at least of 2020 So we're doing eyebrows. I absolutely love my eyebrows. They are the perfect size, they're the perfect shape. There's no sprouts, there's no weird squiggly lines. It's not a worm. I don't look like I'm angry. It's cute. They're cute eyebrows. And that's when it really starts to pick up. That's where, you know, it suddenly becomes magically beautiful. And I think you could also tell by the way she's holding the brushes, by how smooth she was being. There was no punching and grabbing and throwing fists. There was none of that. It was really nice to sit through actually. And I almost slept a couple of times. Another thing that was actually really impressive was her supplies. Linda, she literally had a box, a tiny box that barely had anything in it. It was just around two palettes, a few brushes, some lipsticks, that's it. So it was really, really minimal. And the fact that she could pull off a look like this is really impressive. She literally barely had anything to work with and she managed to do really well. Yay! 
I'm assuming that's also why my foundation shade isn't accurate and again that's something I don't like to talk about because I've said this a million times <laughs> my foundation shade at least in the area I live in it's very hard to match perfectly which is why it's one of the things I don't like to talk about or criticize considering the supplies she had like it's not surprising she didn't have my shade and yet she still managed to make it look really really good just thought I needed to say that because you guys can't really see the stuff she has and I thought it's really noteworthy to mention that because it's really impressive so Linda's at this point I'm just looking at my eyes I'm looking at myself and I'm just thinking, wow, this is stunning. Look at my eyes. Look at that color. Look at that blending. It's just so well done. It's so pretty. But then we move on and um, I think she gets a little too ambitious and she adds blue. <laughs> and uh, that's a little out of the blue. <laughs> you guys, like for comedy. Uh, no, but seriously though, I don't understand why she would go for blue. It's a very hard color to work with. It doesn't really go well with anything. Blue is just a tough color. And at this point, I'm just thinking, okay, maybe like I love the application. I love it until now. But if only she just omitted the blue, then it would have been absolutely perfect. You know what I mean? But obviously, other than that, I still am um, absolutely dumbfounded i'm in love i mean look at it it's really well done the application is spot on when it came to the lips i felt like it had slightly the same issue as with the blue on my eyes it just wasn't stylish i really don't like this color she didn't really have any other option to be fair but i don't understand the obsession with this color <laughs> but apart from that again like i said before i genuinely really like this look and i feel like it really is much more worth than seven dollars so at the end of the day even though i feel like the lip color and the blue in my eyes weren't the best combination taste wise i still feel like this is definitely a makeup look that so well done it's it's it literally looks professional and i'm more than happy to be walking out of that salon with that look yeah i love and it was super cheap she was so soft with her hands i mean i was literally gonna sleep a couple of times we did something like this last year where, where i went to the cheapest best reviewed and i think this one beats it what do you think i mean okay um i liked the eyes until the blue came on yeah and i don't i don't like the lips yeah i think it's a matter of style rather than how uh, taste, application yeah. it's like taste yeah flavor the, other than something classy and elegant yeah. but i mean when it came to application it was definitely like really good right mm -hmm. i mean maybe the blue yeah maybe without the blue it would have been absolutely perfect i think there was a point where i looked really good yeah in the middle of the makeup yeah on yeah. the eyes it was really nice yeah and then 
But yeah, still, I think this is really, really well for something. Does it win best reviewed, was, uh, cheapest of the year? I, I think so. It wins the award. This is $7, so. We have a 2020 best reviewed, cheapest makeup winner. Winner. Let me know, you guys, what do you think in the comments below? Okay, we get it. Like, my, my lips are ugly. I didn't say that to the DM. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts, you know. Let's go.